Morning. Today's video shall be completely different to anything that I've really done before, purely because I was editing yesterday's video which went live, which was driving a McLaren 570 GT and McLaren 540C on Red Rock Road, one of my favorite roads in the world, with Bruno Senna, an F1 driver, and a bunch of other YouTubers. It was really, really good fun. But on our way back, I was rushing to the airport to get Josh, my friend, there in time. And we had this long chat, which just didn't fit into yesterday's edit. And I thought was something I wanted, really wanted to share with you guys. So, seeing as it didn't fit in yesterday's edit, and it was quite a consistent amount of us chatting, I decided to whack it into a separate video, which you're now going to see. So, it was literally us driving to the airport quite quickly, having a chat. And then Josh just suddenly started going off talking about um, the potential that all of you guys who watched the video have. And please don't take this too seriously. This is not us thinking that we are any, you know, great guys who can give you all the advice in the world and we know everything. This is literally just us talking our minds um, and trying to answer the, one of the questions which we get a lot, which is how do you guys do what you do and what are the morals you go with? So this is just us having a chat, completely improvised. Uh, and I just thought it would be worth sharing it with you guys. So I'm going to stop rambling on here. I'm in Geneva, plenty of videos coming up soon, but I'm just going to roll the intro and we'll get straight into it. It's not edited, it's not cut, it's just pure footage of us talking. So, enjoy. Shall we recap on uh, how crazy our day has been whilst... Uh, trying to get to the airport, yeah, okay. Whilst trying to get to the airport, I mean, what is life when we're doing days like this, it is the thing, the most humbling and just incredible thing that I think we could ever potentially do. It's a complete dream come true. I need to keep the speed down during the straights. Yeah. Uh, but I, this is literally what I've always dreamed of doing. I don't know about you. Yeah. But that we can be together, uh -huh. best mates driving around in a McLaren yeah. now, rushing to get your flight after we've had a day chasing F1 drivers and McLarens. Yeah. Bruno is on he's it. On it. You can just tell he's an F1 driver. You the lines he's taking, I'm trying to follow his lines. Like, <laughs> when you put it like that, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And I mean, it just, it, you can do this stuff if, if you truly believe you want to do it. You can do whatever you want to do in your life. I mean, you yep. dropped out of uni. I dropped out of uni. My to... teachers put my uh, table against a window at school, so I, was, I never, I, I never, they never taught me. Yeah. Um, and you can do everything you want to do in life. So it's one of the questions we get asked the most: is how, how do you, how will I be able to, you know, achieve my dream job? How will I be able to one day, you know, maybe do what you guys do, or drive nice cars, or afford nice cars? Well, the only key thing is work hard at what you love yeah, and I believe. Think. You have to believe. You have to believe. And it sounds corny and cheesy, but if you don't believe in yourself, then no one else will. No. So you need to think, if people tell you it's not going to happen, take in their advice and what they're telling you, yeah. why it won't happen, and then contradict that. Find ways that you can uh, make that something that is just not true. So, sorry, I just need to concentrate here and get the lift up. Um, so yeah, when, it annoys me when people say, oh yeah, you'll never be able to achieve that because no. it's too hard or things like that. Nothing's too hard. Nothing is impossible and you will be able to do it. So I, it, I thought it was the perfect moment to be able to say this to you guys because we do get asked it a lot. And on a day like this when we have literally achieved our dream. By yeah, having yeah, yeah like it's, this, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, so like we said, just believe in yourself when no one else will. Yeah. And then they'll follow you. Then, then they'll afterwards they'll you. come, yeah. Afterwards, once they see success, um, people come running after yeah. you, so. And that's when you need to be able to be in the position where you're like, look, you didn't believe in me then. Uh, I'll, you know, take on board everything you tell me, but I've proved you wrong, and that's the best feeling in the world, to yeah. and say, look, I did it. Despite I'm, the odds, I managed to do it. Because you did, I mean, uni for you. Yeah. What, tell me what that was like. It was, I mean, it was really interesting and I had a great social life. I had such good friends, some of my best friends in the world come from university and it was great. I, I, I learned a bunch, but I felt like I'd rather learn from being out there than learning from a book. Yeah. So I thought if I start a company, I will learn from having my company. And I have friends who are studying business in the course that I was doing back then who now ask me, you know, what do I do with this company I've just started? Because they don't know because you've never actually experienced it. So being able to experience it, is the most important thing I believe and it's not to say that I'm against university or studies I think it's a brilliant thing if 
and I know people who have gone to university and on the side ran their businesses, which is something that if I could have done, I yeah. would have done. But with YouTube, it's so intense, and with the other businesses I run, that I just it was impossible for me to to do both. Um, and I felt like I would rather spend more time on my businesses than I did back then. And when I left university, it wasn't a final decision. It was I'm going to leave for a year, take a year out, and if it works out, great. If it doesn't, I'll go back. Yeah. And it did. So I haven't been back since. But that's not to say that I will never go back. Just we just got overtaken by <laughs> Cleo. Um, so yeah, that's my. That's my, sorry, they're waving. Um, general feeling about it is not to say to everyone drop out and do what you love try and run it whilst you're doing your studies yeah um, or if, if you're done with big. your studies and if it gets to the point where you feel like the potential in your business is more than the potential in your studies yeah. then chase that yeah so for you for me it was opposite my grades didn't really reflect me yeah so if you guys your grades don't reflect you don't don't be disheartened by that if you believe you can do anything I mean I, I really wanted to trade and I taught myself how to trade in the US equity market and that, that's how I made my money and you just have to believe I keep saying it but yeah you believe in yourself, it's so right? true it's so true and there is a system I feel that's been put in place in this Western world where it's ingrained in you in a young age you're gonna to go to school you're yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah. good grades you're yeah. gonna to go to university and you're gonna get a nine-to-five job but if you want to be like everyone else that's the way to go but and if you, you want can to be make a lot of money doing that you can make a lot of money doing that it's not to say you can't and it's not only about money like no. you can not make much money but be very very happy yeah but I feel like if you want to be different if you want to be out of the lot which most people I feel do want to be because you want to do something different and most people have aspirations which aren't the same as everyone else you need to you know find a different path because if you go along the same path as everyone else you're gonna end up where everyone else is yeah whereas if you deviate you'll end up in a slightly different place and it doesn't mean you have to trade or it doesn't mean you have to um, do anything you can there's people that game out there that play on uh, Xboxes and I mean, things like that, and they are having the best time of their lives exactly. and making lots of money and they're loving life. So you can do anything you enjoy, you do can it. do exactly because it's not to say that the things that are ingrained in society now that are things that are making money, being a lawyer, being a doctor, are the only ways to go. YouTube wasn't a thing, you know, six years no. ago. You wouldn't make money off of it. So new things are constantly popping up and if you you know let's say you love climbing and you want to make your whole business about climbing yeah. and invent you know try and work on a new rope that you could use yeah. that. there's always a way you could find uh, something that could make you very successful in the business that you love because everything can be improved nothing is perfect yeah so just improve the things you love and you'll get to the top of uh, the top of those businesses that's perfect have to say we're gonna to have to cut this short because I need to yeah. get to the airport. Yeah, I need to concentrate on the road again. That camera's around here, so I've had to slow down. But let's get back on it. Let's, let's get go. to this airport. But listen, you'll be back yeah. in, in not long at all. It's Couple just of a days. quick little trip back to go see the girlfriend and the family, isn't it? Yeah, that's exactly right. And uh, it's, uh, this past couple of weeks been on the road. It's been insane. The snow tour, Thank you the, so much yeah, for the coming along. Mate, it's been absolutely mad. Yeah. And mad. I also, one thing I want to say, by the way, about our conversation we were having earlier, uh, I just want to say the reason we're saying this is because we genuinely, the thing we love the most almost about what we do is that you can somewhat influence other people's thoughts. So that's why we're saying this stuff to you guys because we want you, you know, if there's anything we can do to help you, that's yeah. what we want to do. If there's anything we can do to inspire or help or or just um, educate in any way, shape, or form. That's what we're trying And it's to do. not to say that we know everything, yeah. but it's just like, we're I, learning. Uh, you know, I wish someone told that little shit that was me, you know, Absolutely. don't worry, and you, you know, don't worry, uh, maybe there's other options and, and things like that. So it's just yeah. like, if you if you feel alone, you're not, yeah. basically. We've all been there. Anyways, thank you so much. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Perfect. Soon. Cheers. Bye. Let's end this. Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mall.